5. A first fail attempt. So, next, I had to prove that my system would work in the real world. With Rafi Adlan, my friend and collaborator, I picked PySAC as our testing ground. We were given a location by the mayor, who had been very pleased with the shooting of Big Can Rewind. We printed a couple of hundred flyers at Kinko's and went through the embarrassing process of getting people to come to our first meeting. The first protocol I imagined required four sessions of 90 minutes each. The first meeting would lead the group through the selection of the genre, title, and short storyline of the movie. During the second meeting, the group would refine the story and systematically turn each sentence into a scene. That was the system. If you have a story that makes sense when you read it and you take each sentence separately to transform it into a scene, you'll be able to tell the story with the camera, which is roughly what a movie is about. The only problem is that there never was a second meeting. Even though we had 29 people present at the first meeting who seemed happy and engaged, they even ate all the snacks we had brought, nine lost interest where they realized that they were not a real movie, Seven was discouraged by the bad weather, and another eight we never heard from again. So in the end, we were left with only five survivors who showed interest in actually doing the project. The whole experience made me depressed, so I cancelled the PCAC project. The five willing people, including Mr. Kenny Page, a street sweeper truck driver, were still complaining a long time after I let them down. But I was wrong thinking that the set of Be Can Rewind was the reality of the world. This world has been created and the kid and the cast watching their film was not a reality but an in-between. I had ignored the influence of the other actors like Jack Black who had added a bit of artificial magic to the experience. Not to mention a solid reason to consistently attend the shoot. And of course there was a promise of being projected on the big screen. My system seemed to work only because it was held together by the big attractive filmmaking machine. Despite my best attempt, my utopia was still a utopia.